Now, as we celebrate Women's Day tomorrow, at just the tender age of 26, Chavani uh, Naika is the University of KwaZulu Natal's youngest PhD graduate for its autumn graduation season after earning a doctorate in applied mathematics specializing in astrophysics. And now, she joins us to celebrate her academic journey and discuss the contributions of women in science. Dr. Shivani, thank you so much for your time this evening here on SABC News. Firstly, I'd just like to say congratulations on your accolade. I mean, at just the tender age of 26, uh, you really are the shining a spotlight on what it means to be a young woman in South Africa and to achieve so much success at just the age of uh, 26. Thank you so much. So nice to be here. Mm. And uh, let's now shine a spotlight on the fact that you've just graduated, right, with your PhD and uh, you are now referred to as Dr. Shivani Naika. At the same time, just take us through really uh, what it took for you to achieve this and become one of the youngest um, for this PhD that you've now uh, obtained at uh, UKZN. Oh, this is definitely a surreal experience. Um, so this all started with my curiosity about the night sky. Um, I found the night sky very fascinating and I wanted to know more about what is out there, what the stars, how the stars out there evolve. So um, I learned that I could use uh, mathematics uh, to describe what is out there. So then I was exposed to a career day at the University of Kuzul Natal in which the um, uh, lecturers and astrophysicists in the Astrophysics Research Center at the University of Kuzul Natal uh, gave seminars and talks mm. in career opportunities in astrophysics. Mm. So that gave me the idea to pursue um, a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics in um, at the University of Kuzul Natal. So my majors were actually um, applied mathematics and astronomy. So I did a three year Bachelor of Science degree. And I found this all very fascinating, how I could use all these tools to help me see what's out there, or how the universe is being described with all of these tools. So then I further, stud I further studied a Bachelor of Science honors degree, which was one year. And there I was exposed to a research project. So this gave me more knowledge on what I wanted to do and further my career. So I then went on to do a master's in uh, applied mathematics, specializing yeah. in astrophysics. And that was one year. And then now um, a PhD in applied mathematics, which was three years. Yeah. So I was surrounded by many um, lecturers um, and experts in the field of astrophysics at the University of Kuzunotel, and they advised me on how to further my career. And I was also inspired by the role models around me. So that is how I got here. Mm. And Dr. Giovanni, maybe just take us through, you know, your research topic uh, in your PhD. Now, we understand that uh, you looked into the issue around EGB and gravity. Why tackle uh, this topic specifically? Okay, so my um, field of re my field of research is on Einstein Gauss Bonnet gravity. So this essentially takes Einstein's field equations, which describes gravity, and adds a, another component to it. So when we studied this field of gravity, this helps us to understand what exactly is happening out there. So right now, the universe is ex is expanding at an accelerated rate. And Einstein's theory does not explain this phenomenon. So my theory, uh, sorry, Einstein gauss May gravity, which is my research topic, tries to explain this phenomena. So this is why I really wanted to go into this field. Mm. And what does, you know, you obtaining this PhD for you mean for other uh, young women in our country? Well, specifically, I think that this is really important to show that young girls who are interested in pursuing careers in STEM, careers in astrophysics, that you can do it. Because uh, in the field of STEM, women are underrepresented and it is uh, male dominated. So my uh, um, achievements actually inspire women, other females to follow the same path, that they can also do so. 
they shouldn't be scared of all the all these gender discriminations mm. and uh, what does uh, the future hold for you now that you've obtained uh, this phd well now that i've obtained my phd i actually want to continue in academia so this means that i can combine my research along with teaching and mentoring fellow uh, students specifically young women and i must say i'm actively involved in um science engagement and i'm a part of stem mentor at the university of kuzun natal which mentors grade 12 students and guides them in obtaining careers in the stem field truly inspirational thank you so much uh, dr shivani uh, that is uh, dr shivani naika 26 year old who has become the youngest phd graduate from the university of kwazulu natal uh, from the graduation ceremony for the autumn season just telling us there about her journey and what it took for her to obtain this uh, very major accolade in the sciences field